a longtime Bitcoin developer is sounding the alarm on an issue he believes is going to sink the ship for Noster. Is this legitimate or is this just concern trolling for attention? Welcome back, everyone. Let's dive right into this. There was a tweet that was shared yesterday by Peter Todd, and it goes a little something like this. I applied for a 20K grant to do a proper analysis of Noster's decentralization on Saturday. Same idea and similar cost as my recent L2 Covenants article. Only took them one business day to reject it. Took them six weeks to reject my grant to keep open timestamps running. I'm not surprised. I strongly suspect there isn't much good to say about Noster's decentralization, and I hear OpenSats is funding a bunch of Noster. Noster needs a serious redesign. Hmm. Well, very serious words coming from a very serious person in the space. Um, now, for the people who don't know who Peter Todd is, right? Peter Todd is a longtime Bitcoin developer, and as he as he mentioned right in that tweet, um, he is the developer and the creator of Open Timestamps, which uh, some people may remember. I had a gentleman on the show named Carlino, um, who was essentially using this Open Timestamp protocol in order to reduce fraud in elections in Guatemala. So clearly, Peter Todd has made some good contributions, some people would even argue great contributions, to the Bitcoin ecosystem. As many people who watch this channel know, I'm not such a huge fan of Noster, but I'm also not a uh, an enemy, right, of, of Noster. I don't sit there and think that it shouldn't exist or people shouldn't fund it or all of this stuff. No, of course not. We should be trying as many things as we can. Right, We should be essentially learning what works, what doesn't, improving on the things that do work and making them more resilient, or in some cases, figuring out um, if something doesn't work, right? what could make it better. Now, in terms of Noster, okay, the, the specific argument here has to do with Noster's decentralization. right? Anything that starts small usually doesn't have a very big footprint. Right? That's the whole point of starting small. So let's take Bitcoin, for example. In the beginning of Bitcoin, there were very few people involved. So the same argument could have been made for Bitcoin at the beginning, okay? That decentralization is a huge problem. Now, we fast forward 15 years later, and we're still trucking along. Bitcoin has become increasingly decentralized in terms of how many people are running nodes around the world, how many people are running miners around the world. And of course, of course, anybody can make the argument that mining pools are centralized. Oh, the people who manufacture the chips are centralized. So look, I'm not disagreeing with any of those things, but those are issues for everything else as well that uses this technology, right? Like the centralization of chip manufacturing that's not a problem for Bitcoin. That is a problem for everything, all technology that uses chips, okay? That it really is. I know that people may not want to believe it, but unfortunately, there are very few chip manufacturing plants and chip manufacturing companies. And if you've ever actually gone to one of these businesses on site, you would know how incredibly expensive, how much overhead, how much capital is required in order to produce basic chips. And no, we're not talking about potato chips, okay? <laughs> we're talking about silicone here. Okay? And we're more specifically, we're talking about wafers. Anyways, and no, we're not talking about wafer foods. Okay, we're talking about silicone wafers. Anyways, anyways, going back to the the, the whole Noster thing. Um, the reason, another reason why I have a, an issue with with what he's saying is he he's asking, he's asking to get paid to do the study on Noster and, and and look, I I don't look, I, I don't have an issue with people wanting to get paid for their work. Everybody, right? Everybody has to eat. Everybody has to, you know, you all need a, we all need shelter, right? Clothing. So it's no surprise that every single person has to get paid, right? You got to get paid for work. Um, the the issue that I have is this though. Um, if 
he believes that the decentralization is really a massive concern, right? Something that I would say maybe even can't be argued. Why not just do the research and present your work? And at that point, the discussion will start. But in this case, I, I know this sounds terrible. It just looks like a blatant rent seek. Okay. Like essentially it's just, Hey, look, you know, I got paid to do this. I got paid to do this other thing. So pay me to do this. Now, the other thing is this, who the hell needs $20,000 to run a test on, on Noster? Like what kind of testing is this person doing for $20,000? I mean, this is, I don't know if you ask me, it's, it's kind of crazy. And, and of course, right. Um, you know, his argument, his argument could seem valid uh, based on the way that he presented it. Uh, it took them very little time to reject him. He also explained that OpenSats is a major donator uh, to these different Noster projects. And we can see here in the most recent round of donations, these are the projects that are going to be worked on. The links are always in the show notes, so if you guys want to read up on what every single one of these projects do, you're, you're more than welcome to. But it's clear, it's clear, right? There, There is a market for people wanting to develop and try things on Noster. Noster is around two years old. So the idea that it is immediately um, in some kind of peril due to uh, its lack, supposed lack of decentralization, I do think that this is, I think this is a fudding point. Um, the reason I think this is a fudding point is because anybody who runs node software, right? Like if you're running a start nine or you're running a my node, or I, I'm not actually sure about Umbrel uh, or uh, the Citadel, um, I think it's called the Citadel one, I could be wrong, um, but the Citadel node. I don't know about that one either, but I do know for my node and start nine, you can simply install the relay software from their marketplace. And once you have a node with a relay running, well, now you're actually adding to Noster's decentralization. Another seemingly big turnoff uh, from Noster is that it's simply just a Twitter clone. Um, I don't, I don't buy that. Although I will say this. When you first start an application and or or even a piece of hardware, okay, you you create something called an MVP, right, which is the minimum viable product. So one of the low hanging fruits, one of the lowest hanging fruits, is a chat application, right, a, a, an application for people to communicate with. And so I, I believe that Noster did do the right thing in going in that direction first, um, but. It, it kind of reminds me, interestingly enough, it kind of reminds me of the the Seinfeld episode with the wizard tip calculator. And it, it's exactly that. Jerry's father only recognizes this one thing that this device does. And as Jerry points out, it does other things. How could you spend $200 on a tip calculator? <laughs> it does other things. And this is exactly the same thing with Noster. Right now, we see we see the hardening of a communication platform, but there's a whole bunch of other applications that are currently being worked on to figure out if they can be useful in a Noster world. Going back to the original tweet from, from Peter Todd, I unfortunately, I, I do think that it is a little bit um, disingenuous I, I do think that, um, unfortunately, this was an attention grab. I am curious to see where this ends up. I'm curious to see if OpenSats eventually ends up funding um, his, his research. Some people have made the, uh, the argument that um, him and Odell may not see eye to eye on certain things, and that could be why this happened. I personally have no information uh, for or against that argument. Um, but I do think, though, that if he has a valid point, I would have I would have created the report anyways. I would have created the report anyways without being paid, and I would have put it out there to see what everybody thinks about it. 
um, at, at the very least. So yeah, in the end, I, I do think that this is all just an attention grab. Um, no, Noster's quote unquote lack of decentralization, uh, I, I don't think is, uh, a major concern. I really do believe it's a giant nothing burger. Like I said, this protocol is two years old. Um, it's no surprise to me that there isn't much decentralization, but I also don't think this is what sinks the Noster ship. That's all I wanted to talk about today. Even though I'm not a Noster fanboy, I am willing to push back on things that to me seem uh, like a bit more of an attention seek uh, rather than um, genuine concern. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I'll catch you tomorrow.